I found myself up to my neck in the war before I knew it, before I saw it coming. I was never much for politics. The rivalries between the water guilds was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager, and I had my own set of problems. Thinking back, I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away, me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood, to defend the guild. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero. It makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days, men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches, stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. Herded like cattle by overzealous officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me, off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight of a blade, and cried like babies when ordered back to the front. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt, but I was one of the lucky ones, captured and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. Nothing really mattered to me anymore. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Prisoners to Camp 19. Get off the train and stand in line. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home. Keep moving. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Fall out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. Get a load of these fellas. Fresh meat. Uh, it just makes my day. I was getting tired of drilling the same old asses. Hey, you're not bad looking either. Get out. <gasps> yeah, you got a pretty mouth. <laughs> What do you want? 
cag out your tongue. What are you, special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase. Maybe you get off watching. Go take a seat. After all, this is the only entertainment you'll get in here. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Don't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. What's that? Speak up. Nobody can understand your squeaking, boy. We want to find you, we will. This place ain't big enough to hide from us. You crazy. You need to be put down. What are you, insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just think about what you're gonna do to this poor bitch. Brings a tear to my eye. I, I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. Forget it, guys. This cunt's not normal. I don't want to catch what he's got. Hey, uh, thanks. Thanks for the help. And uh, what makes you think I'm not just a better looking fatso? You give your trust too easily. It's a bad habit if you want to stay alive in here. I... To, to me, you, you're nothing like that guy. You're a nice kid, I gave you that. But you might give some thought in the future to watching your own ass. Just a suggestion. Come on, we better get going now. They might come back. I'm good. I'll follow you. This stuff is finished, I'll never be able to fix it here. And they'll never change it. Aw, oh, fuck me. Hey, hey, I'm working. I'm not here to shoot the shit. You just seem to be spinning your wheels is all. Shit, this camp's a ruin. I don't have what I need to repair the thermal conductors or the sand pump. And I need something to tighten these bolts. And of course, my wrench is broken. I'm keeping busy, though. I can always unblock the sand extractor. Another time, maybe?
<laughs> Did you have fun? I hope she's still wet, because I'm gonna ride her hard. Been waiting for you. Me and the guys decided that we didn't appreciate your attitude. You may be crazy, but even if you're too fucked up to know when to open your mouth, we decided we'll show you how to close it. Right, time to teach you some manners, darling. Live and learn. to the infirmary. They nearly got killed. <laughs> it's the same thing. Every time we get new arrivals, always gets them excited. Some days I wish it was at the front. You... You, you could have killed them. What do you think those bastards would have done to us if it had been our faces buried in the sand? You gotta do what it takes. By the way, the name is Roy, and yours? My name's Innocence. Roy? Aren't you from Aurora? Afraid so. They called me Temperance back then, but I chose Roy. Those virtue names aren't really my thing. Oh, okay. I guess Temperance doesn't fit. Yeah. Let's go to the mess hall. We need to find a place where we can talk. Okay, I'm right behind you. Just wanted to tell you, everyone's talking about how you took out the fat guy. He was embarrassing the entire Aurora army. Here, take this. A little thank you. Huh, thanks. to the mess, make sure you watch your step. Don't even think about doing the same thing you did with Fatso. If you'd done your job, it wouldn't have happened. Get out of here and go blow it somewhere else. You hear? 
Go do some gardening. Do some hoeing. It'll do you good. This looks blocked for the moment. Thinking, damn it. You mean you're sleeping? This ain't bridge with your grandma, remember? Get it together. Huh? All right. I call. Yeah, okay. All right. Ah, you call, all right? Your mama. Full ass braces in your face. Shit. Shit, you're lucky today, man. I don't believe it. Show me the cash, man. One more. Ah, shit. I don't know. Man, you're really bleeding me dry. he wants to talk to me about the fat guy. Thanks for the info. No problem. Later. Uh. Strange. Looks rabid. Hmm. I'll have to talk to the kennel master. Thanks for helping out, Roy. We'll take over now. Sorry. The dog attacked you, really? 
I don't understand. Usually the guy that takes care of them trains them really well before letting them go. By the way, I heard you kicked ass with that fat guy and his gang. It's true. And to be honest, he got off easy. You know, even if my comrades had to get involved, I really think most of them are glad you did what you did. I know that even with you people, this guy would have ended up in front of a firing squad. But here you're prisoners of war. Complained cop? Not your role, really. Even if that guy is a real bastard who should have never been in the army. If I understand right, you're happy but you think you've got to preach to him. You know what that fat bastard wanted to do to me, right? I know. But it's our responsibility. so good. Yeah. So you understand? I want to be alone. Right. Hey. The bare knuckle king. What do you want? Been here long? Been here a while, yeah. I wasn't very good on the front, so they sent me here. It was a drilling well before. A big abundance site. But with the war... There weren't many people left to work here, of course, so they decided to make it a prisoner of war camp. Seeing as how it's a long way from the front and in the middle of nowhere, it's a good spot. For a POW camp, I guess there's worse. For us, on the other hand, it's a real pain in the ass. Don't see guard dogs jumping people around? Never seen that? And nobody takes care of The dog, no. Hmm.
Roy, so you finally taught the fat guy a lesson, huh? Ha! That fucking vermin, good one! Hey, Roy. So, I heard you took that fat guy down. Yeah, he asked for it. So the kid and me gave it to him good. Hey, good one, buddy. You too, kid. That fat pile of shit had it coming. Absolutely right on, guys. <laughs>